Hey, what's going on, y'all? <laughs> this is your boy E Bike Guy, and uh, yeah, I got me a little haircut, man. I ain't got no nappy in there no more. So, but uh, anyways, um, I wanted to show y'all the, the 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 final finished product of uh, my my new bill, uh, the eight eight thousand watt DIY E Bike bill. Um, last night I did did a, a ride video on it. Um, I know y'all could see good. I didn't have the camera properly mounted right, so um, I want. I want, but I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I did to it and everything to to make everything work right. You know, like I say, I, I know it's gonna be some people gonna be you know uh, asking questions, and then believe me or not, I, I'm gonna answer every question uh, that pops up on my comments and everything. So, but um, without without further ado, let's go ahead and check out e-bike and here she is y'all the finished product right now i got the trailer attached to it because i'm actually taking my daughter for a little stroll to the park uh, right now she is at my buddy's house swinging on the tire but that's not what it's all about is this is right here so let's go ahead and get a close-up view of the e-bike um we're gonna start off with the most obvious part is the motor so we're gonna go back here with the uh, QS273, and this is a 3.5 turn. Um, it has a three-speed freewheel, which I, I I absolutely like when uh, when my seller um, supplies a three-speed freewheel on my uh, motors. Um, I like the derailleur; just is a lot better than the one I had on my Schwinn Axum, uh, the the Shimano 20TZ, like that. Also, uh, some other stuff that came off my uh, Schwinn Axum bike is the pedals, the chain ring, the crank arms. Everything came off that. I got my 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery. Um, also, I had uh, mod the frame. As y'all know, I had to cut the frame in order for the uh, order to fit the battery to the to the frame. So I did that and everything. Um, the seat post. I had to change out the seat post because. Um, last night when I uh, had the original seat post, it was like one of those old school seat posts where you had to screw the little 13 millimeter screw right here that, that actually tighten it up. Well, I thought I tightened it up and I tried to give it some throttle. I was on pedal assist three and the whole seat just fall, fell back like that and I slid off the dang bike. I said, oh, uh, it fell down, but it was in the grass. So it didn't really do nothing to the bike. Um, so we got the Sabaton. 72 200 controller that's also off my bike i love these forks y'all these are the um himalo forks this is the uh, fat four classic now the difference between this fork and the one that's on my other bike is that it doesn't have the rebound adjustment at the bottom um my other one does does have the rebound adjustment but it's out uh, it's on my son's bike as uh the time being so Anyways, I'm going to change out these tires too. Believe it or not, I'm not going to be riding um, as fast as I did on my other bike because, like I say, I don't know uh, about these tires. And also, people was commenting me to um, change out the tires as soon as possible. So that is duly noted. And uh, I have um, a new hydraulic brakes. Um, these are from uh, AliExpress. Um, I don't know what these are uh, these called, but they. Let's get a focus on in there. Can't really focus for some reason. But anyways, they are some Zyron XT calibers, which is right here. Um, they have a, a little heat sink on the on the brake pads. I guess to tra uh, transfer the heat from the uh, from the pads. So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, also, I have the 180 rotor up front. I have the 160 in the back end. <laughs> that motor is absolutely swollen enough compared to the QS205, which is like half the size of this motor. Uh, the uh, 160 millimeter rotor is just dwarfs. I mean, it's just like tiny and in comparison to the hub motor on here. So it looks really small, <laughs> uh, but it stops really, really good. I, also, I have regen on this. Um, on this uh, bike so it, it I have no problem stopping this bike you know so anyways um so that is the the um, rundown of this bike 
um, there's really much much to, to, to show y'all right now because of the fact everything is basically off my other bike um, just a se exception of the motor and the new bike frame I'm kind of liking the uh, the fat tires the not the fat tires that's on it right now but they're just the whole setup because I can actually can ride it off-road way better than I did with my swim with the 2.6s so and it and I think I think this bike looks a lot um, beefy it looks a lot beefier than than uh than my swim axle um I like I say I really like in the hub motor I like I like the design of the QS 273 hub motor it just it stands out from the rest of the uh, hub motors as you can see but anyways um just about this hub motor in general so I know a lot of people is not running a, a hub motor like this on a typical bike frame like me um, because you see a lot of the, you see these hub motors on stuff bomber clones uh, for obvious reasons I don't know for sure but I know that what I'm gonna tell you right now is that it's not it's not impossible to run a such high power motor on a bike frame as long as you know what you're doing you can do it you can build anything you know what i'm saying that's what this is that's what this channel is all about diy stuff you can do it you know what i'm saying there's no limitations on what you can and can't do you know what i mean and don't let nobody tell you what you can and can't do you know what i mean at the end of the story it's it's, it's you so oh here's e-bike kid so uh his bike's gonna be built this week um we're gonna we're gonna be having a full video on his bike and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have that uploaded sometimes in uh, next week or so but anyways um i just wanted to show y'all uh my bike and everything tell me what y'all think of it um i know a lot of people might say it's not a good idea to do this but you know at the end of at the end of the day it's whatever but hey let me know what y'all think about it in the comments um do y'all want to see me um uh, ride uh, y'all want to see a ride video on this bike let me know and i will uh, be uploading some videos on this bike soon and uh, i will see y'all in the next one with me i know that's right huh yes. <laughs>